Hey guys, this is a San Francisco rider here once again. Today I'm not gonna ride in San Francisco, in fact I'm gonna ride in the bush in San Francisco. So um, the bush is basically you know getting out of the city, getting into the back roads. Um, so when I was growing up in Australia we used to have uh, quite a few bush roads. So um, this is basically the bush here in in San Francisco, I, li I like this road, a bunch of twisties. So let me take you a ride through the bush in in the Bay Area. So this road is, uh, you know, pretty special to me because when I first started riding motorcycles, I used to come here and ride just to practice, um, primarily because there was very little traffic here so if I made an error I'd be safe so let me get past this car here and I'll tell you more Yeah, so it's unusual to see cars on, on this road, it's, it's a pretty quiet road. Um, it's still winter right here in San Francisco, we're transitioning into spring. Normally the scenery here is all kind of, um, you know, dry and brown, but it's, it's pretty green right now because we just finally got some rain a couple of weeks ago. Um, but usually this is kind of like the desert. So this reminds me quite a bit of Australia, we used to have bush roads like this, um, so I come here to reminisce, and um, so you know it's, it's a pretty safe road for me uh, uh, to learn how to ride, in fact if you, if you folks are trying to get into motor riding I definitely recommend getting practice in a, in a safe zone. In fact. Uh, when I started riding uh, motorcycles, I dropped my bike here many, many times, and I used to have to wait for quite a while for, and, uh, you know, to get some help. I used to, I had once I had a bike it was pretty heavy, and I just got stuck in the ditch here on the right, and I just couldn't get it out, so I had to wait for some help because it's very slippery. So this is a pretty relaxing road. Um, Quite a few twisties, and not many people know that you can find these kind of roads here in, in, in San Francisco. It's just not the um, it's just not the city, right? If you can get out into the bush, you can get some pretty quiet rides. My V-Strom um, bike is handling these turns pretty well, as you can see it leans into the turns quite well and um, you know I quite enjoy kind of getting on the angle since I'm sitting up pretty high. The feel of you know leaning into the curve is even accentuated more than on, on a sports bike. When I, I use, when I was riding this on my Ninja 1000 I'd be very very close to the road. But now that I'm sitting up a little higher, I feel like I'm I'm leaning more, and it's a different leaning sensation. And I enjoy, you know, taking these turns just just as much on this bike uh, compared to my Ninja 1000. I think the only uh, benefit on this bike is the fact that the suspension is a little bit uh, more softer on the, on the body, and it's a, bit, a little bit more comfortable. And you could feel the bumps on, on my sports bike quite a bit on this, this road. This road is smooth, but it's not as, as smooth as some of the others that I've been on. So the adventure bike um, in suspension really helps out here. And then sometimes when I want to go really wild, I, I just get off the, the main road here and go on a, a couple of trails. I'm not going to do that today, but that's the other advantage of you know, riding this um, this adventure 
style bike that I can get on any trail and just get off the, the main road. Yeah, so guys, uh, if you like this channel, please do subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please subscribe and uh, we'll catch up soon. But I thought I'd give you a different view of uh, San Francisco than just riding in the city. There are bush roads here.